Okay, this is it. The big hike. Big hike down the Little Arsenic Trail this year. And this year we have a new hiker. Her name is Debbie. This is the Little Arsenic Trail. La Junta Point. Wild Rivers Recreation Area. Going down into the Rio Grande. Try to catch some big, big fish. This is pretty steep, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's even steeper coming back up. Is it steeper than the other one? Looks to me like it's considerably steeper. Considerably steeper than the big arsenic. I don't remember any places this steep on the big arsenic. It will help you on the way back up for sure. Now this is steep. Wow. No, use your walking stick. Don't fall down. This is different. This is a lot different from that other trail. different this way oh, God. if you get if you figure out at some point that you don't think you'll be able to make it back up uh, it's my feet. huh it's the, the, the toes of my feet that hurts well, it'll be okay. It, it's so steep, it's yeah, right, right. I understand. Yeah, maybe try to step sideways on the steps. Are your shoes laced up tight enough? You want to sit down and lace them up super tight? Because your toes will be sore. I know exactly what you're talking about. Might as well lace them up before that happens. Oh. We're below the rim now. There's the rim right there. Where we came from. I'm taking some video. Barely hear the river from here. I'm probably halfway down there. Judging from over there, should be halfway. I hope. Maybe if you don't want to carry that old long walking stick, we can collapse it up and hang it off your belt. You don't have to carry it at all. I might want to, but I don't know. I can do that for you right quick. 
I was just, she's not using her walking stick. I said, I can collapse it and she can hang it off her belt if she wants to. Yeah. Okay, we're getting closer. Coming, Jackie. I'll get there. Go on. I'll get there. You need heart? Yeah. Really? Sounds like bad news from home up here. Ooh. Look at that. It's pretty, isn't it, Debbie? Really? Um, yes. On both Do you toes. see what's going to happen to me? You gonna lose your toenails? <laughs> well, this was seven miles around. You probably won't well, do it. Well, seven miles would do it. Anybody's toenails. Oh yeah. Feet. But mm -hmm. I had people say, "Oh, those won't ever grow back, or they won't grow." It took a year. Then I had one person who was actually a, a medical person said toenails. What well, they say, nine months. That was Tamara Worthen. Said toenails take nine months, and that's what it took. Almost exactly after they finally came off. Um, took nine months for the toenail to completely regrow. But I We're ditched those boots and ordered a new pair of half size larger, and they've been fantastic. But yeah, yeah mine they were too short. Maybe yours larger. are too short. If your toe hitting the end of that, I bet your boots are too short. Maybe so. Had them for a long time. Well, if you're walking on level ground, make sure they don't bother you. You always have to you get the photographer in there. end when you're going downhill. That's it. That appears to be the case. We're almost, what, a tenth of a mile from the bottom, Pat? <coughs> almost. About a tenth of a mile, Johnny. Tenth of a mile? Just from looking right here, we're right there at the trail. I hear the water. It's a lot faster than again. Up there is where we started. Everyone's still with us. <laughs> Three tenths of a mile to go. I think we're almost to the bottom. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The old brand. Isn't that pretty? I hear a spring. Go. Right, here. Just go wrong, right along there. Right behind where Pat went. Here's the spring running right here. Comes out, out of the side of the rock up there somewhere. Yeah, that. Walk up there and get you if you wanted to get water. Mm. 
around that, around that rock right there. Right beside it. Walk through the water.